Greetings, YouTube. Happy Monday. We have a very unique offer to review that at first glance is pretty average, but it gets interesting when you analyze it. So we have a legendary power control crystal. This thing gives you a 20% chance to get a five star, 80% chance to get a four star. By itself, it is a terrible value. $50 at this point in the game we have seen quite a few times should guarantee you a five-star basic crystal with more champs than just the ones in this bundle. Uh, I don't know how a power control champion cash would have Deadpool X-Force unless you want to control your rage when you pull him. But other than that, I mean, I don't know why he's on here. I guess I, I could at least see somebody like Howard the Duck where you use something like a special two. But Iron Man, Infinity War, a great power control champion, you know. But <laughs> Deadpool X-Force, are you really trying to punk us? Uh, kabam. So, yeah, it guarantees at least a four-star with a chance to award a five-star version of one of the following. Okay, so this by itself, I would give at best a D value. Yes, you've got 2,500 five-star shards guaranteed. And yes, you've got three 30% champion boost. Those things together you might be able to argue are worth between 5 and $10. But that is not why Kabam is trying to entice you with this offer. It's trying to get you in the door because, according to our handy-dandy power control offers, for a limited time, power control offers are available for those who have reached the level of proven. These offers contain crystals which will award select champions known to manipulate power through power gain, power lock, power steal, or power burn. There are two special offers. Purchasing the first offer will unlock the second offer. So the second offer is really what they're trying to tempt you with. You're, you're overpaying for the first offer, which should be, I think, at most 30 bucks instead of 50 bucks for it to be a decent deal. But uh, the, the Legendary Power Control, we know this. But here's the thing. Purchasing this bundle will unlock the five-star power control cash. Five-star power control cash contains the following items for the same cost as the All Fathers Odin. So if you haven't done the math yet, just know that's 150 bucks between the two. Now, that's better than the video that ironically got me a, a strike on my YouTube account for three months, and that was when it was 150 bucks to rank up a four-star to max in 2018. So at least this is dealing with five stars instead of four stars, but still, uh, you get a five-star power control crystal, a five-star rank-up gem from rank one to rank two, a five-star rank-up gem from rank two to rank three, and 500,000 gold. Now, I will say this. Even though I would not give this offer an A by any means, if the second offer contained one five-star rank-up gem from rank two to rank three and one five-star rank-up gem from rank three to rank four, I think that would be tempting for quite a few people. Because at least with the one that's rank three to rank four, you're also getting the value of four tier two alpha catalysts. But just rank two to rank three, yeah, you're saving some tier four class catalysts and you're saving a heck of a lot of, uh, of uh, tier one alphas. But that's it. Now, it may be tempting for people who really, really have a lot of money, I guess, just too much money that they don't even know what to do with because according to the picture, you're going to get, uh, just to go back to this, these are generics. So instead of a crystal, I see those as generics. Now, if somebody purchases this to me and it turns out that this picture is incorrect, please let me know. But at least you can choose any champion that you want because nothing would be worse than maybe landing a magic where a Dr. Voodoo or an Iron Man Infinity War, the three champions in the banner, and then having to do the one out of six RNG just to see if you get the right class to rank them up, that would completely defeat the purpose of the offer. Not that Kabam hasn't done that before because they have, but hopefully they haven't made the same mistake with this offer. I think this entire offer is overpriced by about 50 bucks. I think, uh, honestly, if you wanted it to be a great value for the community, you'd make the first one 30 bucks and the second one 50 bucks for a total of $80 instead of 150 Now, an $80 bundle, don't get me wrong, is still not an amazing value. It's far from the best offers we have seen lately in the game, but at least it's respectable. At least you would get a C-plus to a B-minus offer. These two things together, just because of the price tag of 150 bucks, I can't give that higher than like a D-plus, maybe at best if you get all the pulls you really want somehow a C-minus. 
But, you know, objectively, it's just too much money for what they're asking about, especially because you could spend 150 bucks to get a five-star uh, Mordo or a five-star Spider-Man Miles Morales and uh, or five-star uh, Howard the Duck and even a five-star Doctor Strange. You know, maybe this was, this was pre-patch 12.0 Doctor Strange, but uh, it's just an insane amount of money for this. I still know there are going to be people who either don't watch this video or watch it and don't care that still throw 150 bucks at this, but my recommendation is there are going to be so much better offers for that kind of money. I mean, that, that used to be, shoot, you could still go on eBay and buy a console and some games for that price. You know, you could have a year's worth of entertainment for the same price as a five-star Punisher 2099. And yes, there are some nice rank-up gems to it, but I wish the rank-up gems where the, the first level was rank 2 to rank 3 and the second was rank 3 to rank 4. Then I could at least talk about how, well, we had a $100 login calendar and that $100 ended up getting you 2.5 tier 2 alphas. So for $150 for you to get the equivalent of 4 tier 2 alphas, that at least carries over. Plus you get uh, a guaranteed 5-star with a chance to get a second 5-star. That is about par for the course. But now you're just really gouging the user with something that should be about 50% off of what the asking price is, about $75 to $80 instead of $150. So what do you think, YouTube? What do you think about this offer? It's certainly a different kind of offer, especially with the rank up gyms. But at the same time, I just see it as a cash grab and something you should definitely save your money for. Uh, that's just my two cents as always. Otherwise, have a fantastic Monday and thanks for watching.